I'm James Weaver, I'm pastor of New Hope Assembly in uh, the suburb of Des Moines, Iowa called Urbandale and uh, I pastored there for 21 years, started the church back October 7, 1990 and I met Jason Blacks with Jack Hayford in California and heard him sing and was impressed with his spirit and also his uh, ability, his professionalism, yet his uh, depth of spirit and understanding. He's an excellent communicator. Our church enjoyed him thoroughly. Hi, my name is Patty Ashbaugh. This morning and this evening when I uh, hear church listening to Jason, but really more specifically listening and hearing the Holy Spirit, the power of God uh, flowing through him. God's uh, chosen to use him as a vessel. And I really appreciate the fact that Jason um, was very real and is able to communicate to everyone, but even specifically to the body of believers that um, Relationship with Christ isn't anything about church or a list of rules and do's and don'ts. It is simply about being real and coming to Jesus. Oh, yeah, I'm encouraged. It's been our joy to have Jason Black uh, at our church. Uh, the people were thrilled. They gave him a standing ovation. I'm Jason Rutkin, and the uh, first time I met Jason, we shared a name, and I uh, just happened to say, hey, you know, our name's a biblical name for healing. I had no idea, no idea about this wonderful man. I was about to, about to get to know and a, a true man's story about God's love. An amazing story about God. Uh, eight years ago, I couldn't move. <laughs> And hallelujah today, I can, Amen. I can walk, and, and he's a good witness for, for the Lord. Uh, we filled the house on Sunday night, which makes every pastor happy. The people that came were, were encouraged to have hope, to believe once again for a miracle that they've, for, they've given up on. My name is Romi. I'm a refugee from Zimbabwe. Um, miraculously brought over after a life-threatening situation. And I really needed this tonight. God brought uh, Jason Blake so that he could really revive my spirit. He brought a reminder to me that he is still able. That he's not the God of, in Africa where we are desperate, but he's here in America. When I heard the miracles God did tonight, it made me stronger again that I'm still worshiping a living God who is not dead. And I see a walking miracle and it's going to help. And tonight was a night meant only for me. It was just for me because I was desperate, I was anxious, and How do you I feel was now? in doubt. But now I know that my God is able. My God will do it. He did it for Jason. Oh, my story is no different. And tonight, the Lord spoke to me in songs and He gave me such peace to know that He is not caught by surprise. He is able and He will take care of the situation. He uh, effectively ministered one-on-one -on -one afterwards, uh, stayed and stayed and stayed to visit with people, to pray with people, and, uh, and was very capable at sharing scripture. And I heard him over the weekend probably quote 40 to 50 scriptures uh, that were pertinent for the moment. And uh, so here we have a person that's gifted beyond measure as well as deep in the word and with a sensitive spirit. I highly recommend Jason Black.